hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the one of the important feature which is comes in java 8 uh, the predicate okay what the predicate is doing it's it's kind of uh, the name itself it's giving a meaning predicate I mean prediction okay so in case i have a uh, list of employees or list of students or list of some random data so i can write a prediction there <coughs> for example if i have a number of uh, students I can write in a prediction like saying like okay I want to uh, get all the student list or I want to check or uh, is there any uh, student has hundreds in any specific subject or is there any student name starts with Z those kind of things which we can do it in a uh, Java 8 with the help of predicate predicate okay okay before going into the predicate how it is going to work let's see the structure of it okay so predicate comes under uh, java dot util dot function dot uh, predicate I guess okay let's see <coughs> okay so predicate is a util function and it is an interface so it's a functional interface so you can use against the lambda expression or method reference so what are the methods available so we can use and method we can use equals or negate or and test okay so so we can go each and everything in another video but here I'm just going to give you a small s example of it okay <coughs> how we are going to achieve this okay when you're going to use predicate and you have to make sure when you're working against some of the list or some of the data in order to return the boolean whether it is existing or not existing whether it is true or false the stream which we are using against the predicate which will turn the boolean operation whether it is true or not okay so it contains three uh, ways like uh, uh, match any match all or nothing is match okay so let's go to try and we'll try with a small demo okay let me try with our student example so I'm going to have a class called student and it has public name sorry public string name and sub okay, name and what else you can have okay grade and public int mark okay and I need to have a constructor for this I just it. So let me put a two string method so I can uh, print the data. Okay, so this looks good here. And also, I need a method here to return the some hard coded uh, list of uh, uh, student information. So, what I'm gonna do is I already have the some data. So, instead of typing it again, I'm going to paste it here. So, import the list. Okay, new student one, what's the name? Or oh, draft name. Okay, I can put it as an ID and name. ID and name. Okay, here I want to provide name. Okay, name is already there and the ID here. Okay, so what else is missing here? I'm gonna make small modifications here. Okay, uh, and and what else we need to do here? I'll make this ID as an end. okay looks good we have all the student information so let's write on a sample here okay so first thing what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, f check whether my students name contains or starts with any specific letter okay so first thing make sure you have to return as a prediction here okay so you need to use a predict here 
predicate okay and what is the predication you are going to use whether you're going to use against the student okay that student in generic okay and then we can call it as okay prediction one equal so here is the condition which you are going to return okay so i'm going to use the reference e dot it, it can be anything because in a stream this is the reference for your the student object so i can make it as yes okay s yes. and i'm going to check dot my student id or let's start student name student's name uh dot starts with uh d okay and this is my first prediction okay so i did my first prediction okay let's write my second prediction okay prediction number 2 so i'm going to check uh, so the mark nobody have 2000 mark okay that's 2 95 come on let's come on 95 85 80 and 100 okay so the second prediction is going to be i'm going to check in my student mark s dot one second mark greater than 95 that is my second prediction okay so now i'm going to check the prediction against my list okay whether is there any of my student names start with d or any of the student has mark more the greater than 95 okay so let's try the first prediction okay so as i said we are going to use a stream and when you use a prediction it always return the true or false or nothing okay so i like it as a boolean here boolean okay prediction one result p1 result p1 underscore result is equal to i'm going to use the uh i'm okay before that we need to have the list of um, uh students okay i'm going to use this okay i'm going to do the data which is already hard coded s t u d e n t student list equal to what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the method student dot get student details so it has all the student information which is already hard coded okay okay let's use a stream against a list student list dot i'm not going to use e for each because for each is used to iterate the elements okay so i'm not going to iterate it okay straight forward so i'm going to run against a stream to specify some check okay so i'm going to use a stream stream dot so as i said we have all match or any match or none match these are the three important things which you're going to use to identify whether the my prediction is returning true or not okay so let me check uh, any match first but against which one prediction or prediction to prediction one will try okay let's run this Okay, my bad. Where is my main method here? Okay. Says I'm going to print the P1 result. Okay. So what is the condition? D. So I'm checking whether my any of my students name start with D. Yes, I do have Dennis. Let's run this and we'll see what is the outcome. It's true because I do have a student which starts with D. Okay, so let's make it the other case scenario. So I'm gonna do with the the Z actually. Let me try to run it now because it it's gonna turn false because there is no student information or details or start with Z. Okay, looks good. Okay, then I'm moving into the next one. So which is nothing but I'm going to test my prediction too. so my prediction 2 result so i'm going to run against the p2 now because p2 have a different prediction okay i'm going to print the p2 as well so 
let's guess the information let's guess the outcome actually so what is the prediction to it's checking the student any of the student can uh, has a mark greater than 95 i think as for our hardcore data yes we do have the randy is more than 95 which is 100 let's run this it has written the true yes it is let's try the uh, negative scenario let me try with uh, uh, let me try to modify the prediction let me put more than 100 greater than 100 we know what will return so fast because i don't have any student has mark more greater than 100 okay so we tried with any match okay and the same scenario what you can do is you can do the all match as well it's again the same any match means it has to find at least one record okay so p1 p2 and this is going to be p3 any match this will turn true only all of them are true for example as per my first prediction the stats letter of the student name is z okay let's make it d here if all of the name is start with d it's written true okay let's see what happened and also i'm going to predict one more thing here none match that's a, the third one which is checking the none match so this is going to be my predict four result okay let's run this i'm going to comment these two I'm going to run this now. <coughs> okay. So any match written true. So I don't want any match here. I don't want all match. So let's see what happened. With the hang it's ID not responding to the DNA. AGP. Four in the eight acne. Is it sixteen portal use lapa and the configuration eighteen are you? Eight are you? Okay, so modify as all match. Let's run this and we'll see what happens. Okay, both of them false because all match means I the as for my first prediction, all the student names starts with D. Okay, so that is false because only one student name starts with D. Okay, so none match. Again, it is.